Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 products to dropship this January. So before we jump to that list, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with what's going on in the dropshipping world. Our first product of the day is something called a reverse umbrella. Now, what do I mean by reverse? Well, it's actually a pretty innovative product. So instead of closing the umbrella in a way that you pull it towards yourself and maybe get yourself a little wet in the process, you actually close it by pushing it in the opposite direction of yourself and then it kind of flicks the water away from you. My advice for this one when you're listing it, people love different styles, patterns, and colors. So you're gonna to wanna to list a bunch of variations when it comes to this. You can even see here, this person, this listing on Amazon has, I don't know, like 25 different, oh, 37 different colors to go with. And you could also tell that it's a pretty popular product. You've got 20,000 ratings over here. So I definitely highly recommend this one. Our second product of the day is headlamps. You might be thinking, oh, where are you right now? What website is this? Well, actually, we're within the AutoDS system. There's actually a new product research system within AutoDS where you can look up products and they'll find a bunch of different sources for you and put them all together here. So you can list a bunch of different variations from different sources and just easily import the product to your stores. It's very simple and easy to use and I highly recommend you start using it for your own product research as well because it will definitely save you a lot of time. So yeah, this product is definitely good for people that love to go camping, people that love to build, it's good for workers. You have variations that even go on top of hard hats like hard helmets for builders as well. So it's definitely a cool product to go with and you have definitely a range in prices. You've got you know cheaper versions and ones that are heavy duty. I recommend listing within both price ranges because then you could attract a larger audience of buyers. Our third product of the day is paintbrush sets. So you could find this over here on Target. And basically paintbrush sets are good for artists, they're good for children. There isn't a general paintbrush set that is good for all. Usually each paintbrush set is specific to what kind of materials they're working with. Be it, you know, acrylics, oil paints, things like that. I'm not an artist, so I can't go off listing all the different types of things they have, but there's definitely a lot of different paintbrushes for different types of uh, art. So definitely make sure to list a bunch of variations that you can see here. Grab 10 or 20, something of the sort, and see what works for you. And as for the children ones as well, you also have a bunch of cool sets to go with and in there you can consider how much is coming in each set are you getting them you know a giant set or something that's a bit more compact that they could take to school our fourth product of the day is a rechargeable book light so this product essentially snaps onto either your book itself or to the nearest piece of furniture so people could read in the dark and what's great about it is that it's portable technology. You could take this with you and it's very compact. You could also bend the light to show the words on the book however you'd like to adjust it. Over here you can find it on AliExpress. It's a pretty low ticket item. And what I'd recommend here is paying attention to the light itself. Are you offering one that only has white light or does it have different color modes as well? Because I know people that would refuse to read in the dark with a white light because you know that might hurt their vision a little bit. So you wanna offer variations that have warm lights or different options for color modes. Our fifth product of the day is the digital tire inflator. Um, this is a pretty convenient product. A lot of people like to just have these in the back of their car and it's really trending. As you can tell here, already a product with 16,000 uh, ratings and it's about a mid-range to high ticket item. When it comes to safety products that have to do with driving and things like that, people sometimes don't like to cheap out and they like to get what they know is secure and will last them a long time. So if you list a higher ticket item, you do have the option to make a higher profit margin and that's why I definitely recommend listing within both price ranges. Our sixth product of the day is vanity lights. So over the past year and a half, two years, you've been having a lot more people spend time in their homes and we've been seeing a lot more DIY projects and a lot of just general home makeovers um, because people are just spending a lot more time inside their homes. So one of the products that we've seen trending a lot is vanity lights. So you could go over here onto Home Depot and they make it very convenient for you to choose different types. You've got one, two, three lights, four lights. You've got different styles such as modern, industrial, classic. 
And I definitely recommend you take a look here at all the different options that they offer. And you're gonna wanna offer a lot of different styles because people are different when it comes to their own homes and their own decor. So you're gonna wanna offer as many styles as possible here so you can cater to a large audience. Our seventh product of the day is Artificial Grass Puppy Pads. This is a great product within the pet niche, really trending. And basically this is a potty training pad for your dog. Um, and it's pretty cute because it trains them to recognize an outdoor element with where they should relieve themselves. So it's kind of a mental trick as well. So as long as they're going inside, as at least they're going on something that looks like grass, which will get them used to that habit once you train them to only go outside. So over here, the thing to consider is different sizes of different dogs. Um, so for smaller dogs, like puppies like that one, oh, that's so cute, you could, you could have much smaller pads like this, but people that are training larger dogs, you're gonna need to accommodate for larger sizes, so make sure to have variations within your listing. Our eighth product of the day is a spin mop bucket set. So this is just a house basic, Everyone needs cleaning products. You really can't go wrong with this one. And it's an evergreen product. People are always going to clean their homes. So you have different versions here with different functionalities. Some that offer two mops, some that offer multiple cleaning pads that you could reuse and clean them again. And you also have different sizes of the broom itself. You've got square ones that'll get those corners and you've also got circular ones as well. So you're gonna wanna look through all of these and consider the different functionalities that you can offer people. All right, our ninth product of the day is a bamboo drawer organizer. So this is a great home organization product. And as you know, as I mentioned before in other videos, Home organization is a great niche to go with and it works really well as it usually comes with a lot of basic products that people usually need in their homes. So here you have organizers for drawers like in your office or organizers for the drawers in your kitchen where you could put cutlery, knives, things like that. You're gonna wanna go through the list here and list at least 10 to 20 different variations and you will definitely see some great sales from this product. Now our 10th and final product of the day is punching bags for kids. So this has been a really trending toy for children lately. It's a mid-range ticket item. So you're making a pretty decent profit margin here. And you've got a bunch of different cool versions that you can go with. Some that are more similar to adult punching bags, obviously a bit lighter so that kids can use them as well. And then you've also got easier inflatable ones that are a bit cheaper. Um, cheaper options to go with and still make a fun toy for kids to play with. A little tip for this product, you might wanna upsell it with a few additions like punching gloves or knee pads or anything like that that can go along with this boxing niche. All right, that's it for our top trending products in January. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about that product research system that I mentioned earlier in the video, link will be down below in the bio. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in next month's video. Bye.